Let's take you to Taiwan. Their handling of the coronavirus pandemic has attracted international praise. The country hasn't reported a domestically transmitted case since the 12th of April, and the total number of infections stands at just 475, with only seven deaths. Audrey Tang is Taiwan's digital minister. She has been praised as a key figure in that fight, a former child prodigy, renowned hacker and entrepreneur. Audrey has a lot of strings to her bows, and I'm pleased to say she joins us now from Taipei. Audrey, thank you for being with us. What role did tech play in helping to suppress coronavirus? Well, the most uh, important technology is definitely soap, followed closely by hand sanitation sprays, like that's alcohol. Uh, but in Taiwan, we especially use digital technologies in three pillars. I refer to it as fast. Fair and fun. The first part is collective intelligence. People uh, watch the daily live stream to CECC, Central Epidemic Command Center press conference, so that any new developments can be amplified daily. And when we ramp up, for example, the mask production from 2 million a day to 20 million a day, uh, there's a lot of civic technologies that produce maps such as this, that you can see the nearby pharmacies. The green one are the ones that still have masks in stock, the yellow one a little bit low, the red one, it doesn't have any masks in stock so that people don't feel panic and everybody queuing in line can see this map refresh every 30 seconds so rest assured that there is actually adequate supply and finally the fun part also very important making sure that all the CECC daily press conference gets translated into dog memes by the spokesdog that's on Chai of the MOHW the Ministry of Health and Welfare and that uh, went viral and when the um, clarification and science went viral the conspiracy theories won't. Do people in Taiwan trust the tech? and trust the people who then hold the data? Well, uh, that's because we do not collect new data. We only use whatever we had in place before the pandemic. So do you believe that this is a model that could be replicated elsewhere? Well, of course. So uh, when I call it the Taiwan model, you can learn more about it in Taiwan can help that us. It uh, is essentially looking at what you were already doing that already has public trust before the pandemic and repurposing these techniques instead of inventing whole new techniques and mechanisms. Do you think it's important in some countries, though, to try and rebuild trust? Do you see that as being an issue when it comes to using tech and a health crisis? Well, definitely. Um, and uh, I have a tweet saying, in democratic Taiwan, ministers trust you. Uh, and so it's more important for the government to trust the people than for the people to trust the government. For example, uh, when there's a anything that really happens uh, in the grounds, for example, there was a medical mask rationing where the young boy only get pink medical mask and their family calls CECC at 1922. That's our toll-free line saying that the boy refused to go to school because he afraid he would be bullied. The very next day, every medical officer, including the commander Chen Shizhong, start wearing pink medical mask. And so the boy became the most hip boy in the class because only he had a mask color that the heroes wear. And this kind of rapid iteration, I think, is much more important than any single piece of technology because this ensures that social innovation can amplify to the entire society. Yeah, that is absolutely fantastic, that story, Audrey. But I know you're a digital minister. You moonlight as well as a hacker, and you've been building bridges with the hacking community. Has that been integral as well and very important in terms of the tech that's being developed? Uh, definitely, uh, because we look around the world and we share the model. For example, this mask map that I just showed you, the one with a lot of triangles, uh, only a month after its development, uh, South Koreans are using exactly the same map because they were demanding their civic hacking uh, technology community were demanding that their government release the API, that's the machine to machine language uh, that enabled this kind of mask rationing in South Korea. And I personally also helped uh, the Tokyo metropolitan government to uh, hack, uh, to change uh, sent uh, the dashboard of the visualization of the Tokyo pandemic, uh, the Stop COVID dashboard. And so I think um, the more people join, like on the US Taiwan coronavirus um, hackathon, the co-hack, the TW, the more privacy enhancing technologies there will be for everybody to look into the open innovation model and to learn from it. It's so interesting to talk to you, Audrey Tang. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.